Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tara here and I'm going to do a love reading for Cancer Scorpio Pisces, so for the water signs. General love reading, but it's for the 9th of September 2020. Take what resonates, leave the rest, and we'll see what we can come up with. Um, I have to say that the other signs that I've done so far, a lot of energy of ex-partners coming back in. Uh, jealousy. Jealousy that you've moved on. So, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, what do we need to know? Page of Pentacles, maybe an offer or a message coming in. Maybe a younger person, could be a child, but um, it doesn't really matter. We'll see what else we get, but just a stable offer, a secure offer. Maybe you get offered a job and you meet someone through, through that job. Maybe there's a new job coming up. Nine of Wands, Fire Energy. Um, yeah, I get a feeling that you could be offered a new job or you could be moving into something new and you might meet someone through that and it's been tough. COVID's been tough. People have lost jobs. It's, it's a difficult time, man. This year's been crazy. Mm. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Wow been so hard I think you're not sure whether you should take it maybe it's less money than what you're used to but I think that the, if you take it the benefits of maybe meeting someone new will outweigh that because the most important thing in life isn't money it's your health so when you're stressed that affects your health nine of cups it'll end up being a wish fulfillment I don't even think you realize the roll-on effect of of taking this opportunity or job or uh, yeah nine of cups is your energy it's a dream come true because sometimes we have dreams and goals and you know, we don't always get there in a straight line. You know, sometimes we have to go around and around and around to finally get there. And this is almost what I'm feeling like. This is not the route you thought it would take to find the love you want. But that's what it's end up. That's what's going to end up happening. Seven of Cups. There's options. There will be options for you. Maybe you've been offered two jobs, one's less money, one's more, and you don't know what to do. It's a tough decision to make. Knight of Cups, there's that offer again. So there's a lot of your energy in the spread, an offer of love. I think you're going to meet someone at a new job or meet someone who has a brother, sister, family member that you'll eventually meet that you will start dating wow. two of wands look at that waiting for your um pondering thinking the world's in your hand the world's your oyster now i think after a long time of not really knowing um what to do where to go not really feeling like you have any maybe support or that you're just on your own and you finally um, have choices. You finally have choices. What a sign. Hangman, no longer in limbo. I th yeah, I think you've finally got choices. You don't, it's not just you anymore. It won't just be you anymore. Nine of Pentacles, independent woman she's single she's she can be wealthy she, or she can just be someone who can do anything on her own two nines three nines so nine might be significant maybe look that up angel number nine 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 or nine i think this opportunity is going to be more Fruitful, fruitful than you realize. Um, temperance reversed. 
So Temperance is um, the Sage card. The Temperance Upright is very angelic. Um, it's about balance. It can often, I've heard a reader say that it's the higher level two of cups, and that's quite interesting that she says that. I, I agree, but this is reversed. So there isn't balance somewhere. Is that you that's not balanced? Or, and there we go, the lover. So there is new love coming in and a new offer, and I really think it comes in through a new work opportunity or a new person that you meet through where you are or a, a new job that you've got. So, you know, there is a lover. Maybe this job involves travel, and you're not sure whether you should take it because you'll be away from home, but I think it will be absolutely worthwhile you doing it. Three of um, Swords Reverse coming out of that heartache. Maybe the temperance is someone that you, maybe you had a relationship with a fire sign and, you know, the spread saying it's over. But six of swords reversed. I don't know, I think you'll regret not taking this opportunity. King of swords at the bottom of the deck. An authority figure. Maybe this person could be a boss and you take it and you start a relationship and you have to end up moving on because it's a conflict of interest you know because it's someone in a position of authority um, a lawyer a judge um, someone who knows what they're doing a uh, police officer it might doesn't have to be because i don't see illegal stuff here but just someone who knows what they're talking about someone who's a profession professional so you have the lovers I think Scorpio, um, I think Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, um, there is new love coming in and it's related to um, making a choice about work, making a choice about taking that opportunity that someone's offered you. You might be in a role and they say, look, can you, you might get promoted and they might want you to travel and you meet someone through that, but you're not sure whether you should take it. Um, there is dreams coming true for you and independence. Total independence. There's offers coming in. Maybe multiple offers. Maybe you're very skilled at what you do and people want to, on a side note, you might be poached for um, another company and you need to make the decision whether you should go or not. Sometimes, you know, better the devil you know than, better, than the devil you don't. But if you've been quite stagnant for a while, you know, change is like a holiday. So maybe you should take that opportunity and, and try something new. You might have been in a job for nine years. And you just think, oh, I'm used to it. But maybe something new is going to be what you need to just break cycles or change direction for the best. So I'm going to do a love oracle for you guys. Cancer. Cancer, what do you need to know? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I mean, this is a singles reading, so this could just be about yourself, working on yourself. You know, you don't want to start a relationship when you've got a lot of baggage, you know. It's too hard. Scorpio, what do you need to know? New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. There we go. And look, she's got like um, a basket of food it's like she's gone to work or she's gone to collect things so this is what I think is happening that there's movement you're going to find this person on the move on the go Pisces religious factors your love life is influenced by your religion upbringing and spiritual path so you might meet someone traveling overseas someone from a different background or culture Someone you never thought that you would um, ever be attracted to even. But you meet them through work and traveling. So I'll just do an oracle for you guys, Cancer. Surrender. 9-1, which is a 10. It's like a new beginning. So you've got three nines there. This is a 10. So it's like 
the, the change is coming and sometimes you have to surrender sometimes you have to say show me a sign is this the right thing to do and the universe and the angels will do that for you that's why you should look and there's and there's another nine so just check out that angel number nine Scorpio what do you need to know perseverance for you know if it's been hard keep going keep going because there's nothing worse than knowing that your dream was like three steps away and you gave up. Pisces, what do you need to know? Financial discipline. This is why the Nine of um, Pentacles is here. Financial discipline. Meeting someone at work. And just the bottom of the deck is change. Meeting someone at work. Saving your money. Maybe you do a, on a side note, you um, do a budgeting course because you you haven't, you didn't prepare for COVID. And on a side note, you do a budgeting course and you can really change the whole way you look at money. Money's energy. So for someone, a side message is um, doing a budget. Doing a budget for your family, changing the way you spend, changing the way you look at things. You know, less sometimes is more, and people don't always realize that in a world of excess, you know. So, anyway, guys, I hope that helps.